Ralph Koo just had the game of his life. In the most recent match of Barangay Hinebra, he exploded for 24 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, shot 6 for 11 from the 3 point area, and was easily the difference maker on why Barangay Hinebra was able to escape the gutsy and revamped Northport Batang Pier with a score of 95 to 88. So, sino ba tong Ralph Kuna to at paano siya nakalusot sa draft radar ng karamihang teams during the 48th PBA draft? He actually started his basketball career with the LSU but was stuck in Team B for majority of his career. He led the Green Archers to a silver medal in the UAAP 3x3 tournament but that was not enough to earn a spot in Team A. Soon enough, he worked hard to be included in Barangay Hinebra's 3x3 team and because of his production and skill set as a 6'4 floor spacing big man, he was drafted 23rd overall by the most popular team in Philippine basketball. Ngayong may alam na kayo sa backstory niya, that's the reason why he did not get a lot of attention from other teams. The last draft class was one of the most stacked in recent memory and the fact na hindi siya nakapaglaro in a 5 versus 5 setting sa UAAP made Ralph have minimal to little to no attention from most scouts, but not coach Tim Cohn in Barangay Hinebra. Let's now dissect what makes Ralph Koo special and why he is the X-Factor to Hinebra's chances in winning it all this season. As of the making of this video, Ralph Koo is only averaging 18 minutes per game with 5.8 points, 1.3 rebounds, 1 assist, shooting 43% from the field, and a blistering 43% from 3 on 3.5 attempts per game. Going back to their matchup against Northport, first, what makes Ku a threat as a player is his floor spacing. Ngayon alam natin that Hinebra uses C-Stan as their 5-man or center for most of their games and he usually gets paired with Japet Aguilar who aside from being an athletic specimen can also hit it from the mid-range and make the occasional 3-pointer when left wide open. Pero iba si Ralph Ku. Siya naman ay isang pure shooter from downtown and it doesn't matter if wide open siya or hindi. He can knock those with ease. Ito, loose ball. Ku catches it from the top of the key. Munzon momentarily forgot that he is a floor spacer. Money from 3. Extends the lead to 6. Second one, Malonzo here drives from the right wing, attracts the attention of 3 defenders ready to contest his shot. And look at Ralph Ku at the left wing just ready for that kick out pass from Jamie. Last thing you want is leaving him wide open and bang, another one for the rookie. With GSM having the personnel to apply pressure from the inside, shooters like Ku will have a field day when it comes to getting their buckets from the outside. Ku is also not just a catch-shoot type of guy. He can also create a little bit of separation from himself and a defender when needed. Parang ito sa left corner. Munzon and Arvin Tolentino this time are marking him. Munzon tells Arvin to stick to Ku, but for whatever reason fell for the slight jab of Ralph, he gets enough space surprising everyone with his step back. Money once again. What separates Ku from other floor spacers na nakita natin sa PBA is his great basketball IQ and underrated passing ability. When it's not outside the three-point area, he is usually filling the space for Hinebra and looking for angles to hit the cutters. Here in this clip, he decides to go under the basket seeing that Munzon is sticking onto him, at least sa three-point area kasi mawawala siya. Kasi for whatever reason, open na naman siya, this time under the basket. He gets the attention of Arvin Tolentino who had no choice but to help, who drops into the paint. Malonzo sees a clear lane for takeoff and Ralph Koo feeds him with a simple pass for the jam. Assist for Ralph. Dito, nakita nyo agad that when an undersized big man like JM Kalma is matched up with a bruiser like Christian Stan Hardinger, you need to feed him immediately at the post. Ralph recognizes this, no hesitation, pinasa niya agad. Next clip, we have this rare instance where Ralph is bringing down the ball at a quick pace. Four Northport players are ready to intercept him. Kita niya nakatingin lahat kay Ralph, but forgot that C Stan is rolling down under the rim already. Once again, Ku showing us his vision and hitting Christian with no one there to contest. Down 10 entering the third quarter. Most rookies will usually let their seniors take over and do the scoring or heavy lifting or decision making, but not him. In their third quarter comeback, he scored six early points, but not from three, but from the paint. Di ko alam na meron rin siyang soft touch sa loob, and that's what Northport also found out. They gave him enough space in the middle in the third, and was hitting all of these push shots. Next thing you know, nagtain na Hinebra. Another fast break opportunity for Hinebra here, and Ralph Koo is filling the lane down the middle with Munzon, Tolentino, and Lucero looking right at him. He flings it to the left corner, open triple by Mav Ahanmisi which he can naturally make. It's plays like this which will make Hinebra even more dangerous. Whenever you got three high IQ players or facilitators in Scotty Thompson, C Stan and Ku, the possibilities are endless to the hybrid triangle system that Coach Tim loves to run. 
the defense will always be on their heels on who the open man might be and with Ralph gaining so much confidence and most likely an uptick in minutes that he will be playing from now on. With the game tied 85 all last 3 minutes, Ralph Koo has nerves of steel to take this gutsy 3-pointer to keep the Batang Pier at bay. Once again, this is just a rookie. Having this kind of confidence is uh, something that a lot of teams would love to have. Crucial moment sa laban na to, nababad si Ralph. This is the reason why he played a total of 39 minutes today. It's his ability to stay composed when the going gets tough. Here he moves to the middle of the paint to attract the attention of the defenders. Receives a pass from Jamie. Sees Stan Hardinger wide open for just a bit and automatic 2 points, no hesitation with that pass. It will be interesting to see how teams will adjust defending him and most likely it will take some time again before he replicates the numbers he posted in their game against Northport. But with him showing us that he is a high IQ player, a great floor spacer and overall great teammate, Ku will be a key cog for Hinebra moving forward now that Jamie Malonzo is in fear of having a potentially long injury. Unfortunately, pero sana okay lang si Jamie. By the time the regular season is over and once the playoffs start, Hinebra might potentially have another star in their already loaded roster that teams will have to really prepare for.